Um, so quick overview of the project is essentially just a karaoke robot. Um, the TF2 displays what you need to sing and what you are singing. And then the background music will play um, from the pick. And then we also have like, we also use the robot from lab four, I think that um, will judge you while you're singing to see if like how in tune you are. Um, That's cool. Virtual Simon bias. <laughs> So the, the, the background music comes from MIDI files that you have stored on the device, right? Yeah, so like you can see on the top, there's um, MIDI files, uh, the header files, no, the, sorry, the header files. Um, yeah, so essentially what's going on here, commented one. Um, so what we have here is the MIDI start of the um, note, or the tempo, um, and then we have the duration of the note. <laughs> we have the duration of the note, um, or it's if it's like a really large number like this, that's actually tempo, um, and in that case, the duration is just zero. And so we're able to differentiate between them. But this way, we can like since it's sorted by the time uh, by MIDI clicks, we're able to tell like what um, time things need to happen. So this is for like the background um, track. If I scroll past that one. Um, and at the top we have like the time signature, which is um, part of the MIDI file. And then the size of this file um, and then, or the, the array. And then also the, um, this header value, which is just used for um, like calculations within the program. Um, yeah, okay. So the vocal tracks are uh, kind of similar. Um, sorry, let me scroll to the top. This is something else. Um, so basically how this is formatted, uh, we actually um, ran out of space with three songs initially. So we had to like cut down on a lot of things. Um, so this one, uh, we only have the notes and the duration. And these zeros are basically whenever there's nothing playing for that amount of time. Um, and then for, we have the same time signature, vocal size, um, tempo. And then we also, since we don't have any times in this one or like start times, we have this like time that tells us when like this whole, the whole, whole rhythm. Yeah. yeah. So that's how you synchronize between the background music and the vocal track? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we have that for three songs and it's the same setup every time. Awesome. Um, I guess the last MIDI, uh, uh, the last header file that we have is this uh, MIDI lookup. It's essentially just, just got all the frequencies in order um, of notes. That's it. <laughs> the MIDI files are in, um, what are they? MIDI notes? The notes, yeah. So oh, they yeah. use the notes to find what actual frequency it is based in this lookup array. Okay. And then you synthesize that frequency with direct digital synthesis? Yeah. Yeah. So we use um, these are all the variables that we have. Uh, so this is, we use timer four for the ABC here, the DAC. Oh, that's, that's misnamed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <That's probably laughs> <the interrupts. laughs> Here's timer four for the DAC. Um, so we have maximum three notes at once, not a question mark. Um, so first we look to see if start equal equal one, um, just to know if we like need to, if the song needs to start. Um, we make sure that we haven't gone over the array size. Um, we take the time. Um, and this is where we determine like when to start the vocal track. It's basically that start time if it's at that count. Um, so we have this thing called sample count. And uh, this is, so the tempo, the reason why we have tempo there is because we have to calculate, we have to convert from MIDI clicks to the number of ISR samples per click. Um, so that's that calculation. And then, will increment based on sample counts. <laughs> um, 
So this is where we'll go to the next um, row if uh, a note has finished. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is just looking up the notes. Um, and then this is where we start using all the DDS units. So we have three of them. We check to see which DDS unit is free by seeing if the amplitude is zero. Um, we do the normal um, stuff with MIDI. So you look up the frequency for that. Um, we have F -Milk. Um Yeah, so this is, since we have a lin linear envelope, um, this is just like, it's, this is just for calculations for that. We did try ramping up and down and it gave like a kind of flute sound, um, but we kind of like like the music box quality of the linear ramping more. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Um, so so there's a lot of pieces here, and and each piece is sort of as impressive as the last piece. So in order to kind of highlight each piece, could you maybe um, play a song that we don't sing to? that could show, that would allow for us to hear the background music and see the vocal track displayed. And then maybe we could do it again. And cause you're doing, golly, let me think. So you're doing the MIDI background, the MIDI vocal track, which is being displayed on the TFT. Um, you're then sampling audio through the ADC and doing frequency analysis on that audio and comparing it to the vocal track. And then, am I correct that based on how close you are, you're making the little servo robot approve or disapprove? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's, a, that's, that's awesome. That's a lot of stuff. So uh, could you start by just maybe picking one and let's just listen to the background music and see the vocal track up here? Yeah. Sounds so nice. Very nice. Oh, and as we speak, I can see on the TFT display, we're seeing where our vocal track is. So can we pause this one? Yeah. It really has, it, it really does have such a music box quality to the, mm -hmm. the sound. Um, so that was, that was save me. So in that we saw the vocal track appear. And then as we were speaking, we were seeing uh, where, am I correct that what we're seeing is the loudest frequency of mm -hmm. the spoken voice? Okay. Yeah. And that's being compared with the vocal track. So I heard the robot twitching a little bit. Can we change camera views to see what's happening with the robot? Sure. Um, switch. Hopefully this doesn't break my laptop more than it already has. <laughs> okay. Because um, right now it's already frozen. 
okay. on my side. Okay. We're doing it off the, the shared screen because the screen share isn't frozen, but like her laptop's frozen. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> if we need okay. to reset, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'll just resume because I only paused the screen. Okay. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So so when you're close, the robot looks at you and nods, and then when yeah. you are off, he looks away? Yeah, it's a little bit weird because um uh if I scroll down yeah, I'll stop it real quick. Alright. If I scroll down to the thread. Yeah. Okay, so because there's like slight timing issues just due to like um zoom um and having like two MIDI files separately, um we so basically how we determine the display is after we get the initial time to start and it starts it gets the it decides it tells it to start the vocal um or the display um we do this draw the melody line so since we take durations um we'll convert the duration into something that's like for the tft um take the note as usual and then um this is to draw gaps. Um, uh, the red is like the actual vocal line, and if like there isn't anything, you kind of just <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and then we decrement. So basically, how the robot works is um, it'll. So first of all, if you're taking a breath, it won't immediately turn away. We allow for a, a few counts of just not singing. <laughs> um, okay. And then um, how we look at wrong notes is we'll take 60 counts and we'll see if 30, if more than 30 of those are incorrect, then the robot will turn away. Um, and then if it's less than that ratio, then it, you're essentially correct because we account for like small variations and stuff like that. Um, and then since like the timing is a little bit weird, uh, sometimes it's a little bit, um, we, we gave it like a range of yeah, 400, so. Okay, yeah. so it can be a little bit out of sync in time and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Um, yeah, so you can see here, uh, if wrong count is greater than 30, then we have this variable wrong that will go to the robot thread down here. Um, so wrong equal equal one. Um, and then we set these pan and tilt values and it'll just go into um, the I star that we have for the robot, which we use timers one, two, two and three, two and three, okay. two and three, four. Okay. Awesome. Otherwise it just like constantly just bops its head <laughs> sort of. Do you wanna do you wanna play one of the other songs? Sure. Just so we can see, hear what it sounds like. Alright. So much yeah. going on at once. So much going on. It's it, it really impressive. Really, really impressive. You're nailing that. <laughs> That's very cool. <laughs> And then he'll get mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Really cool. Really, really cool. Thank you both. 